Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and today, and I'm from Western New York. Today was a cooler day. The humidity is down, and today we're going to talk about forgetfulness. <laughs> Almost forgot. <laughs> oh, good grief! Oh, but at first, I have other things on my mind. It's gonna. It's kind of like a a notebook news kind of thing going on here today too. Like I wanted to do a little shout out and I'm going to do it at the beginning because a lot of times people don't watch to the very end and they would miss it. Well today I was watching Barb from, I have to look up her channel because people change their names to Take, Be Take Control Beauty. Barb from Take Control Beauty. She was talking about necks and how to keep your neck looking very nice and young looking and I'm looking at my neck and you know I could use a little neck lift at times because I have the looser skin but I do have nice neck <laughs> I do really okay so that's my little shout out it's for Barb um, take control beauty and she she does um, she, she really uh, Barb I gotta talk about Barb for a minute she does stories on um, spirits sometimes which are very interesting. The way she tells the story is what I think I'm fascinated with. Not so much the information sometimes, but even the information keeps you on your edge of your seat. And she also does cooking with her granddaughter, Bella. And Bella sometimes will do a little intro for her. And um, the last time she did a little cup song for her intro when they were going to cook. And she also talks about products that she has reviewed and she has very sensitive skin, so sometimes if it, if it reacts with her, she will let you know. So that maybe if you've um, got sensitive skin and things react to you, you would, let, you would know for sure before you even buy it. And she lets you know whether it's worth the money or not. She also does reviews on wigs. And you would never know by looking at her that she's actually wearing a wig. I, I would never know. Even when she changes it right in front of me, it looks like it's her real hair. And then when she puts one on, at first you're not sure you like it, then all of a sudden she looks natural. She looks like it belongs to her, which it does belong to her because she bought it. But um, she looks really good and I think she's got the perfect shaped face for these wigs. Because years ago wigs were not made like the wigs she's showing. And um, I do have a few wigs upstairs, but now that my hair is gray, there's no way I could wear them. But they're really made kind of different. They're not very pretty. Okay, that's enough about Barb. Now we're going to move on to, let's see, are you subscribed to who you think you are subscribed? I have to tell you, yesterday, or the day before, I said to my husband, I just posted my video. Did you get the notification? No, he didn't get it. I thought that was odd, and I thought, well, how come he's not getting it? Do you have your bells turned on or your things turned on? Yeah. And then I said, well, maybe you better check. So yesterday he checked. Guess what? He was not subscribed to me anymore. Those of you that have been blaming YouTube, I guess YouTube does do it. I was thinking that, nah, YouTube wouldn't do that. But yes, they do. So my husband had to resubscribe to me. So. Check your, check your listings to see if you really are subscribed to certain channels that you like to be subscribed to because you may have been booted out and don't even know it. Okay, that was number two of things. Then, um, oh, the reason I started doing videos, I started in 2017. It was November 1st. I had been saying for a long time before that, you know, I really should make some videos, but I didn't know what I was going to talk about. Well, then all, I looked at my YouTube thing where you can log in to, so you can comment on people. And I had over 20 subscribers and I didn't have any videos. And I'm thinking, oh my, people are expecting me to make a video or something. So I better make some videos. So that's when I decided maybe I better put some content in there so that those 20 people that subscribe to me have something to watch. So that's how I actually started making videos because I had subscriptions before I even had a channel. Um, let's see, what else did I have on here? Let's see if I can read my own stuff because sometimes I write, you know how you write in shorthand? I write really shorthand so that it's shorter than shorthand and you don't even understand what you've written until you've read it a few times. Um, oh, this one is about the channels again. 
I recognize channels not by their channel name, not by, um, well, I do recognize it by their real name, if I know their real name, but it's your picture. Your darn picture is what I see. I don't even look at the title of your, your, um, your channel. I see the picture and I go, oh, I know who that is. And then I will say, like when Barb, when I see Barb's picture, of course it's a picture of Barb, but there's others that have different pictures that are there that aren't even them. And I recognize it. I recognize that picture and I know who it is. And I'll say, oh, I know who that is. And so then I watch it, but then I don't know their channel name because I go by the picture. I guess I'm a visual person. Okay, now, then there was one, I was, this was about, now, this is getting to um, memory. <laughs> We're getting there. We're slowly getting there. This is, what it was, is I was watching a video, and I thought, oh, that's a good topic that I should talk about. So, I came into the kitchen, looked for my notepad, found that, then I was looking for a pen to write it down. In the meantime, when I was looking for the pen, guess what? I forgot what I was going to write. I got the pen, I got the paper, and forgot what I was going to write. And I was thinking about this, about memory. That must have been in my short-term memory. And it only lasts in your short-term memory for 15 to 30 seconds. Well, I must have been on the short end of that 30 seconds because it didn't stay. And if it stays longer than 30 seconds, then it goes into your long-term memory and you would remember it. So that was something that I was thinking about. Um, then I was thinking about, gee, what caught, what else means that I have short-term memory? Well, short-term memory, you can only hold, let me find out, I wrote everything down because I can't remember anything. <laughs> okay, you have four to seven pieces of information that you can keep in your short-term memory at one time. So mine must have been, that must have been thought number eight, trying to sneak in there because there was no room for it and it fleeted really fast. And um, in short-term memory, a lot of times the, the short-term memory things are like if you misplace your keys or you misplace objects. Those are short-term memory things. So it's nothing to worry about. That's natural. And um, if you are reading and you don't remember what you read, that's okay too. Why you went into a room, you don't know why you went in there, that's okay too. These are all okay short-term memories. It doesn't mean your brain is, or your mind is going. You're still okay. Um, if you call somebody by the wrong name, like a lot of times parents will say, like um, my mother would call um, Joey, Laurie, Anthony, Mary, Grace, Anita, and Lucy, oops a daisy, you know my names when it's in there. It was in there, again. So if you catch that, even though I rattled it off kind of fast, it was in there. And sometimes she would call me Anthony, and my name's not Anthony. A teacher even called me Anthony once. I was raising my hand to answer, and he goes, okay, Anthony, and I said, mm, okay. Well, he had my brother before me. That's why my name came up as that. All right, now the serious, now if you've got a serious memory loss, it means you're getting lost. You, you, you know where your house is, but you don't know where your house is, and you're within the area that your house should be and you can't find it, now that's a problem. My mother actually did that. She, she came from church, passed my house, went another couple of miles, found a house that looked sort of like my house, and decided that it has to be my house. Well, she was getting the Alzheimer's and dementia, so she, she really, and we had to go get her because she really got lost. Um, if you can't follow a movie plot, or you can't find, follow the plot in a story book, then your memory is not good. That's This is the bad side of it. And um, not remembering if you ate today or not. You don't have to remember what you ate, but whether you ate or not. Well, I've sometimes done that. Hmm. But it's only because I'm not hungry. With being on the ketogenic way of eating, a lot of times you just don't eat. You might have a cup of coffee instead. So or something else, just to, or you wait the 30 minutes and you say, mm, I'm really not hungry, I was just, I was just bored. Okay, um, what can cause short-term memory? Sleep apnea can cause it, because your brain's being sucked up, lack of oxygen is happening to your brain. Um, if you're waking up with a headache, that can be a problem. Snoring 
because your brain is now also being deprived of oxygen. My husband snores. <laughs> <laughs> the kids actually told you you snore pretty loud, puppy. <laughs> they told you that just the other day. Okay, and um, you do too. I do too. He says I don't snore, people. I, he has to tape me, and then I'll believe it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, lack of oxygen during your sleep is what could cause short-term memory. Hey, little fella, go back where you were. Or stay where you are now. Up, oh, up, oh, go back, go back, go back, go back. Thank you. Stay put. Thank you. You can't move around, honey. I, I put the dog down to, or in this little house just so there's no noise. Um, silent strokes could cause lack of memory, too. That could be a cause. Um, sometimes people have a stroke and they don't even know they had one. Medications can cause it, like if you take an antihistamine or um, even diabetic medicines can, can give you short-term memory. And if you're a nutritionally deficient of B12, that's an energy pill. That one, that one I like. I like B12. I take B12, can you tell? <laughs> B12 gives you a lot of energy. When I was working at the county home, there'd be girls that would be saying, I need a B12 shot. And so it goes right directly into their um, bloodstream so that they get that little boost of energy that beads give you. Um, and stress and depression can cause you to have short-term memory. Now, how are we going to fix all these? we got to have a fix for all this. Well, we turn the page, first of all, and we can tell you how to prevent it. Well, you've got to get enough sleep and it's got to be good sleep. And hopefully you don't snore while you're sleeping because that would just take away the oxygen that you needed. Exercise so that you can get your blood flowing. That would help. Um, avoid medications that cause the short-term memory, such as the antihistamine or the diabetic, well, you have to take your diabetic medicine, I suppose, but it, you just realize that if you were on the ketogenic way of eating, you might be able to get off of it. That's another thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, make sure you have all of your essential vitamins and don't smoke. Smoking can make your brain lose oxygen, too and that will give you more of a short-term memory. And if you're a heavy drinker, oh good grief, you're gonna get short-term memory six years earlier than us that don't drink. Okay, that was my talk for today. I hope you got something out of it. That's how you fix the short-term memory. Now, I, rem I don't remember what it was I wanted to talk about earlier because it was in my short-term memory bank. I must have had seven things in there. And the eighth thing couldn't get in and stay until I found the tablet and the pen. So you'll never know what it is, and I'll never know what it is. And I still don't remember what it was I wanted to say the other day. It's gone, really gone. So that's it for today. Hope you have a nice night, and I'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye.